I have Quilson. He is an African pygmy hedgehog. He's a year and a half old. I brought him in today because he has a growth on his side. You must be Quilson. This is Quilson. Oh, I see what you got. Oh, you definitely have something going on there. There's a very strong bond between Quilson and my daughter. They spend a lot of time together. She is completely responsible for his care. How long ago did that show up? Uh, it's been a few weeks. It's, gotcha. it's got a little bit bigger, and then he like rubbed up against it, and it bled. So oh. I got really nervous. In other words, it grew real fast. It did. I understand. But there's definitely something I want to have taken off of him for right. sure. So we're going to do a surgery on Quilson to take the mass off, and then we're going to submit it to our pathologist to find out what it is. Now, he's a little bit wobbly. Is he, he is. always like this? Not normally, no. Whenever I see a hedgehog that isn't walking exactly right, wobbly hedgehog syndrome comes to mind. And it has just a name that just describes what they do because nobody knows exactly what causes it. Wobbly hedgehog syndrome is pretty much what it sounds like. These little hedgehogs, instead of walking normally, actually wobble from side to side. It's a neurologic disorder. Most of the time, unfortunately, we see this as a progressive condition. There okay. is no definitive way to diagnose it in a hedgehog. I'm a little more nervous than I was when I came in because she seemed so much more worried about the mass and the wobbliness. We'll get the mass off today, send it to the pathologist, and that takes about 10 to 14 days to get a result. Okay. So we're going to call you as soon as we're done. Hopefully he'll come home tomorrow and everything will be good. <laughs> Things could always go wrong. But I'm hoping for the best, so I don't want to get nervous about it. I just want to hope for the best. Big problem right there. That's mm. got to come off, honey. Yeah.